Oh, good thing to know that we do indeed know our friends. Uh, yeah, we're pretty good at this. <laughs> yeah, we're four for four so Yeah, far. four for four. Oh, I know who this is. <laughs> oh, I think I know who this is as well. Yeah, I know who this is. Yeah, I know who this is. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, yeah. Wait, what? You have three people left, Shindo L, yeah. Sydney and Kaho. One of them doesn't make sense, but I'm pretty sure the rest is. All right. Wait, no, this one's, I actually don't know this one. <laughs> this could be any of them. No. Really? Yes, I know who this is. Okay, should we go in three, two, one? Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, right. ready? Three, two, one. Sydney. Sydney. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Anna, the thing Anohana and Orimo. Yeah. Okay. I I looked at like Aiken, Kamichamakani, like Anohana, Orimo. What Orima. the fuck is that Aiken art? I just saw that. Why oh, does everyone have the most giant tits? Aiken <laughs> is a one of the worst anime ever made. B one of the funniest shows because it's just so bad. <laughs> so. So I, I remember, so the reason I know this was because she obviously told me to this, yeah. uh, told me uh, the shows to put on. Yeah. Uh, I noted down some things about why they're on there as well. Okay. Because oh, she was saying some of this shit. Uh, see, she was saying some of this shit. The, the first show she says is Naruto. And I'm like, I've been with you for 10 years. We are married now. I didn't even know you've watched Naruto. <laughs> I, I, I was, yes, I, I was- I think like, she was just trying to please her husband. Which no, is like, no. She was like, what the fuck? You've watched Naruto? Why Sydney, she, we've why? been married. And she was like, yeah, uh, this was uh, this was her first anime. Uh, and wow. it was the very first time she felt goosebumps watching, uh, watching any shonen or any show mm. in general. Uh, oh. She talks about the That's Rock Lee versus Gara fight. Yeah. And I'm like, Excuse me, how, how have you never talked to me about you've this? Never, you've never referenced taking off the weights. Yeah, you've never referenced taking off the weights. You know, you you clown on everyone who watches Naruto. And uh, <laughs> and uh, so that was the biggest kind of like surprise for me. So Aiken, what, Aiken. what is this show about so, other than big tits? So Aiken is a show from the early 2000s and one or two episode OVA, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, set in high school. Yeah. Um, and it is one of the most overtly over sexualized overreacted just like comedy shows imagine, i guess imagine if uh fan service characters were some lovecraftian nightmare <laughs> creatures <laughs> uh, yeah, like that. that's aiken because you look at their like you look at their tits and it's it's like it's, it's it goes beyond not even knowing how the female anatomy works yeah it's, it's I just, just remember the character, the 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 character with like literally the biggest pair of tits I've ever seen in my life. Like yeah. it's like the size of her entire body. Yeah, and they are, they go full jiggle physics oh, as, with the it fucking as well. Jump rope scene. Yeah, uh, and uh, Sydney told me that this is on there because this is the very first etchy show that she watched. <laughs> This, really? this this was the very first Etchy show How that she watched. How did she stumble across this? I never even heard of this Because show. This, one, this is such an infamous show. Yeah, because this show got infamous because of the tits. Like yeah. you go on like any forums and someone would have a, like some sort of like gif of one of the girls with her tits yeah. like fucking flopping about. I want to check this out on YouTube. Please right pl yeah. you watch any scene from definitely, Aiken definitely, and you'll be like, what the fuck is going definitely on? Definitely gonna get age restricted if we show any clips on here. Yeah. But she told me that this was the first Etchy show she ever watched. <laughs> And she That's was, so funny. and she was so terrified <laughs> that her dad would find out what she was watching uh, that she literally system rebooted her entire computer <laughs> after watching Aiken. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's a great fucking choice. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would, I think I would just smash my computer with a hammer. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Which, which scene are you watching? This is like their boobs are like sentient things. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's yep. the scene, I'm, yeah, that's the yeah, scene that's, I remember. That, that, that is the scene. That's the scene I remember. What the heck? I was gonna make a video on this show years ago and I was like, I don't think I can without getting like fucking community guidelines striked for showing anything. Okay, yep. see, I looked at this three by three and the reason why I got confused is because of Boba. Bo. Same here, bro. Same here. Yeah. I, have, I, had no, I fucking love Boba Bo and Sydney and I have never talked about Boba Bo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sydney's never mentioned this to me either. Yeah, what the fuck? And no way. She's watched Bubba Bell. Yeah, she fucking. What? I mean, when she that was actually that was the second thing she said after Naruto. I was, she was like Naruto, Bubba Bo Bo Bo, because uh, yeah, it's those. Bo 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 Bo. I don't fucking right. know. <laughs> Come how, on. How, Do not put disrespect on my how, man's name. I don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know, man. It is one of the funniest manga series I've ever read. I'll be I'll be honest. I haven't seen it. It's, it was. It's so fucking funny. So what was her reasoning for putting it on the list? Uh, that it was Naruto and Bo 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 Bo, bo of however many. Bo, I said, bo, did it say it? The amount, right amount. Bo, 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 bo. Uh, those were like just her two childhood animes. It was that... huge on Cartoon Network, I remember. Like, yeah, the, yeah. The dub was really popular overseas. Really? Yeah. I yeah, I think yeah. Naruto and Bo, 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 I didn't know this because in England, we did not get Bo, bo, bo at all. Mm. At all. Uh, so Naruto I knew about, but I didn't know that was like widely spread on television as well. Yeah. Um, Bobobo is just the most like, if you took every kind of poo poo pee pee humor and <laughs> throw it into a, I think, I think the you original- You sold me. I think <laughs> the original manga was like almost 30 cha uh, thirty volumes. Um, yeah. But it is, oh my God. Like this is still to this day, one of the most absurd yet hilarious comedy shows. And the, and the anime as well is really fucking funny as well. Yeah. Obviously Oren High School Host Club, that checks out, That that is like- That checks out. Hello, I have just it. I have just discovered my first uh, shoujo anime. Anohana checks out. I think I've heard Sydney sing the ending more than I've actually heard the actual ending. Do you think so, Anohana Sydney does bring up Anohana a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Anohana would have aged well at all? Um. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I watched it, and when I watched it, I was like, huh. "This is a show that I never ever want to watch again." So I'll never find out. <laughs> I just, I just never wanted to watch it again. I, I, was like, I mean, I for one, if I needed, to, if I needed to cry, I would put on Anaheim. Yeah, oh I for one yeah. fucking loved this show when I watched it. Uh, cried like a baby at the end. Beautiful music as well. Yeah, opening and ending banger. Um, yeah. I don't know if I would recommend it to people today though. I know, right? It's it hard. I think, I think it's really. Like I think people who watch it now, some people will like really fucking connect to it, and then others will be like, "This See, is so cheesy." I'm scared to rewatch it because I hold it really, really close Same. to my heart. It's it's Same. the the vibe of the show is everything that I love, but at the same at the same time, I think back to it and I'm like, a lot of this, I love the crying, the sad part of the aspects, just yeah. feels really cheap. Like, mm. yeah. yeah, let me play this really sad song yeah. when I want you to cry. Yeah. And it worked, it worked. It like conditioned us. Like we were mm. a fucking dog. To be like, okay, you hear the bell or you cry dog. now, you cry. What I would recommend instead, I think, instead of Anahana is uh, Makia. The, the Makia? Movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, because that's written by the same person. And I think Makia is just, I think is, is the better <clears throat> aged version of Anahana. God, do you, do you know what I think would be interesting? Cause uh -huh. I was, I had this thought the other day where you take a show like Anahana or some other really popular show uh, and you do kind of like an after story of all of the characters grown up, right? And just seeing, just seeing where, like, I, I think, Kai, can you pull up the Anohana 10 years later? Kinda, like they did, they did a 10 years later drawing and I saw it and I'm like, oh, just give me like, just give me one, uh, like a side story. Ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> look, look at this, look at this. Look at that poster. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> click, ah! Yeah. <laughs> no. Click on the close up. My babies. <laughs> can we see a, can we see a close up of this man? He's got a beard. Ah! Wait, look. Oh my God. Nah, no, oh my, nah. Yeah. I'm not, I broke down into a hippie man. Look I'm, at the main character. I'm, yo, the guy on the left is me for real. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I wasn't ready for that. They're like, yeah. they're like salary men, bro. Yeah, Shit. I know. Right in the fields, oh, man. Oh, that's just. I will say, like the fucking blue haired girl. Whoo. Yeah, like, be careful of who, who you make fun of in high school, yeah. man. <laughs> be careful of who you make fun of in high fun yeah, of in high they school. Should have done an anime from this age. Would have been more interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's still hope, you know, they might remake it, who knows? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I mean, I would I would not necessarily Anahana, but mm -hmm. I would love to see something like this in general. True, uh, true. Especially because all we get is like the fucking, what if official collaboration pieces or what if yeah. fan arts, uh, but I would love to see something like that because I think that true. would be absolutely incredible.
Um, All right, going back to the three by three though, here's another question I had for Sydney. Mm. Higarashi. Yeah. Now, on this three by three, it's the recent remake, readaptation. Uh, of it. it should have been the original. Oh, Higurashi. The original. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just put it. okay, yeah. okay. I wanted to ask. Are we talking about the original Higarashi? Yeah. Um, I mean, checks out. She checks out. She loves her horror, so yeah. this is not surprising at all. And there is not a lot to pick from. For... It's the most solid entry, I'd say. The, yeah. The original one for sure. Yeah, I can see this one. This is always the first horror anime that got spread around just because it was like so shocking that cute girls could actually, you know, it's a cutesy art style, but actually they're all murderous girls and there's blood and there's gore. Yeah. And it has one of the most convoluted stories ever written in horror. Yeah. 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 Which I know. I never. Great. I've never finished the second season of Higurashi, it, which I know. Bad. Kai. Yeah. No, I liked it. I thought it was too slow. Really? Yeah. In the first season, is too slow too. I mean, I've and, played the original visual oh, novel, okay. and that is way slower than the anime. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, but that's a, that that attracts a certain kind of person. You know what's good though? The Higurashi manga is actually, I think, I more that. terrifying than the anime. Because oh, okay. what they did with the Higurashi manga, which I really like, because you know how Higurashi split up into like different sections, I guess, yeah, yeah. in the story. So what they did in the manga was each section is actually illustrated by different manga artists. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So each section, yeah. So you yeah. actually, when you go through each section, you actually get completely different visuals and different mm. re interpretations of that part of the story. And some of them are some of the most terrifying manga panels I've ever I seen. I cannot think about the show without that scene from that documentary where the guy's like, yeah, today I researched how much gas it would take to blow up a school. <laughs> Why, what? <laughs> what? what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you, what are you what? There is this documentary on YouTube yeah. following, I think, like the family that was like making the visual novel game. Mm. If you go to YouTube, type in like, uh, Higurashi documentary. It's actually a pretty cool documentary. Of them just following the family that makes it. Right. And uh, the Yukishio Seven, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's all dedicated to it, but there is like one scene where the old guy, I, I swear, he looks at his PC. Yeah. yeah. He turns around. And he goes, "Well, today for accuracy, I had to, I had to figure out how much gas it would take to blow up a school for one <laughs> of the scenes." And I was like, "I don't, I don't, I don't think you had to research that." Well, you needed to make it realistic, right? Yeah. I was like, did that have any bearing on the plot? It was like a question that like, was like, how much gas should we buy, guys? Oh, yes, yes, officer. That's that's why being an author is just the best way to- How many views Give yourself- 629. 629 views. How the fuck did you find that? It, it, it was, um, it, I think it's been re-uploaded a bunch. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's it from an NHK program from 2005. Yeah, there is no way they uh, uploaded in 60 FPS in 2005. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck, why did they True. do that? But yeah, they basically followed him and there's a scene where he's like the old man. Uh, yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, can you play it from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like around here. The father who once banned games <laughs> is in charge of background research. <laughs> For one game, I had to research and chart volcanic gas composition. And for another, I had to figure out how much gas was needed to blow up a classroom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally, I literally cannot think about this show without just imagining an old man Googling yeah. how much gas it takes to blow up a classroom. I'm surprised- Him I'm getting on actually. some government list. I'm yeah. surprised I'm, I remembered that exact, what are the exact oh scenario. Oh my God. And I just, I just, I have no idea. Hey it's man, just, they had to make sure <laughs> it could be a real, because remember Higurashi- you do, not, you do not need to measure that. You Higurashi not, is a mystery horror. That how had to be he, realistic. Yeah. How did he count? Like that, I don't know. Uh, I was, I'm uh, sure there is he someone asked someone on Two Chan probably. Yeah, dude, I, I just can't. Reddit, imagine. Reddit, Reddit, figure it out. There's gonna be someone in the subreddit on, on this episode that's being like, subreddit. I figured out the gas composition the exact amount and how needed. much you need needed. It's probably someone like, on Reddit what? being like, depends yeah, like, on the size yeah. of the classroom. How, how did you research that? Tell me, like, like, <laughs> okay, did you really need to research that? I don't know. I, I've yeah. never once seen an explosion, a piece of media, and thought, no. No, uh, there wasn't enough right. gas there. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, hey man, some authors want the believability of their story to be watertight. But it's yeah. just the fact that it's the whole family producing it and it's yeah. the father. It's just the old, this old man who's just <laughs> sitting there, looks deadpan on the camera. Today I had to research how to blow up a school. <laughs> it's, it's, the dead <laughs> it's, like, it's the deadpan voiceover that fucking kills me. Yeah, it's so it's good. So good. It's so fucking funny. But yeah, good choice, I think, for a horror anime. Um, what on earth is this? Uh, Kami Kamichira Kami 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 Kami
Kamichama Kani, I've heard Sydney talking about this. I've never seen it myself. This All like, I know- This is like a Saturday Night Live parody of anime. Yeah. <laughs> the eyes are so monstrously All I know monstrously is big. that yeah. there is one scene or the one uh, clip uh, screenshot that got really, really memed. And mm. it's the one where it's like, search up, search up Kamichama Karen eyes. And I'm sure it's gotta be. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's where she looks like a fucking bug. Like fucking where the. Yeah. 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 yeah! That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see this. Wait, this, is, this looks like my drawings of characters. Everybody <laughs> thinks this is an edit, but this is actually in the episode. <laughs> this is what, in why? The episode. Because this is what the art style was in the <laughs> early what 2000s. The fuck? This is the. Uh, Mid 2000s, how to draw anime art book. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's also canon as well. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the plot of the show? I don't even know. It, I think it's some kind of magical girl show from yeah. the looks of it. It looks like a magical girl 13 show. 13 year old Cuddy Hanazono feels like her life can't get any worse. Parents died when she was young. Jesus. That was not how I thought the show was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving her with an aunt who doesn't hesitate to call her stupid unless <laughs> and useless over her poor grades. God damn. Uh, her only friend, her cat named Shijan, passed away recently. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my Bro, she god. can't catch a break. Uh, begins her moment. Uh, moment her life turns around for the better when she is approached by a girl who also has lost her parents and her cousin who finds girls to be troublesome. Both of them searching for a goddess. The mother's memento ring brings uh, shines brightly in their presence and fills her with its radiance, making her smarter, faster, and capable of granting wishes. Okay, so oh, it's like a mega depressing god, magical girl god. spin. I guess. God damn. So why does why does uh, Sydney like? I don't, I don't know. She. Uh... <laughs> so what the fuck? Well, God, so that, that leads. Explain uh, why she likes. So her. that leads into Evangelion, right? I <laughs> uh, no, but. Uh, well, Evangelion is how you guys met, right? Evangelion is how we met, but also she actually watched it because uh, I showed it to her, and uh, mm. it really, really fucking connected with her. I mean, it's uh, a fucking, it's a you know, legendary show for a reason. Yeah. So I would say Kimichiwa Karen, I don't know. I like, I've talked to her a lot about Kimichiwa Karen. She mm. she just holds it close to her heart. This, this must be like the, that one nostalgic, uh, you know, guilty pleasure show that you grew up with. Like, yeah, You yeah, know exactly. it's not the best, but you have a special place True. with it. Fair yeah. Enough. Which well, is fair. All right. Well, All right, very cool. fun, Lesty, though. Very fun. Well, now I know next time I see Sydney, I'm going to talk to her about Burger. So, yeah.